For centuries, the Netherlands has been famous for its shipbuilding tradition. In the past, these boats were used to trade goods and discover exotic lands. Today, the industry is all about leisure, demanding a different approach from the shipyards. Revolutionary new technology and construction methods herald a new era for super yacht builders, allowing them to take these magnificent vessels to higher levels. This is Super Yachts. a small town in the northern region of the Netherlands. In the past, its proximity to the North Sea helped make it one of the country's most important ports for merchant shipping. Today, it's mainly known for its super yacht construction. One of the shipyards here specializes in modular construction, an innovative building process where the technical, electronic and interior modules are built away from the ship in specialized workshops. Well, the modular building concept is uh, very much focused on doing as much uh, work as we can outside of the yacht to, uh, to gain efficiency and to gain the quality. Doing the work in a separate workshop is improving the quality. The fewer people we have on board, the faster we can build. Only the upper part of the ship is custom built. Everything below the main deck is standardized which enables the fabricating of the modules to be started simultaneously with the production of the hull and superstructure. This results in shorter construction periods. Once the hull is completed, the prefab modules are assembled on board. It can be hundreds of people uh, working here simultaneously, and it will take about two years' time. The shipyard's latest showpiece is the Maydell, 62 meters long and 11 meters wide and built completely according to the modular construction principles. But however efficient the method, certain factors are difficult to control. When temperatures drop below 13 degrees Celsius, paint can't be applied to the ship, slowing down the entire process. Well, as you can see, the boat is completely covered up in plastic. That's due to temperature control and humid control. Um, it's very important for the painting process. When the temperature is too, too low, we're not allowed to, uh, to put paint on the ship. The average amount of time it takes to build a ship this way is two and a half years from start to finish. The Maydell has been under construction for 22 months now. It will take another eight months before this super yacht will be ready for her first sea trial. In shipbuilding terms, eight months is a short time period, so everyone will have to race against the clock. They work non-stop. They work, well, sometimes 24 hours, depending on the, the client's requirements. Well, here we are in the main lounge. On the floor, as you can see, is a, what we call a computer floor. This is already prepared in the factory from the carpenters. And based on this floor, they make their prefabrication of the walls, uh, ceilings and everything. If that's ready, then the owner can have a check and have a look if that's what he wants. If so, they can break it apart, um, wrap it up, bring it to the yard and build it up in the ship. Eventually the Maydell will have a luxury interior designed to meet the client's exacting demands. Well, um, on this side we have uh, a space that's called the dive store specially prepared for the owner because diving is uh, one of his big hobbies. This will be completely uh, built as a dive store, including compressed air generators, oxygen tanks um, and dive equipment. And on the other side, we have the gym. This will be completely installed as a gym for the owner and his family, um, so they can have some exercise. Well, here we are on the fore deck, as you can see. Um, these are the tender garages. At this moment, we are preparing these spaces 
to put um, the man overboard boat in. Jet skis, power boats, water ski boats, um, yeah, basically all super yachts uh, use these kind of toys. That's what makes life interesting. And life is never dull when it's your job to put the super in super yacht. Hi. Hi here. We're going to do it with warm. I'm very happy with it. Okay. 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 Absoluut, zoals ik zeg, niet te schreeuwerig. The Maydale's very own beach club forms a key part of the yacht's basic design. Located directly below the main deck, it provides a link from the swimming platform to the guest houses. The beach club is a unique feature because of the, the, the dimensions and the, the, the living area it creates together with uh, the door that can be opened, which creates an, an, a nice environment for the people living on board to uh, enjoy themselves. The lid of the beach club is four meters by nine. It can be opened and closed in just one minute and is due to be installed today. Oh, we moeten hier nog een... Uh... We moeten hier nog 10 of 15 streep naar beneden. 10 of 15. The beach club's lid weighs in at a hefty 2,500 kilos, and the crane has to place it in precisely the right spot. Unfortunately, that is proving impossible. Hey, problem? Hey, Maurice, yeah. No, yeah, these things just don't pass, not, eh? There's a problem with the seals that close the lid from the water, causing an expensive delay. Well, the problem is um, one of the seals, uh, the dimensions of the seals is not good. The guys already um, made some phone calls and arranged some new seals to be made. They will be delivered a little bit late, but, well, no problem for the process of uh, building of the boat. And we can make some tests already now. This has not been the only challenge. The client insisted on using an incredibly heavy construction material. Over 7,000 kilograms of Italian marble have to be kept afloat. And from massive slabs to wafer-thin panels, every piece of marble is carefully selected and cut. The gewicht van het marmer is absoluut een probleem aan boord van dit soort jachten. En daar hebben we een oplossing voor bedacht. Wat wij doen is het gebruik van honeycomb materialen, de honingraadpanelen, aluminium. En daar verlijmen we hele dunne laagjes marmer bovenop. Waardoor eigenlijk het totaalgewicht van een paneel veel lager wordt als een volledig paneel van marmer. We hebben een jacht gehad, daar wilde de klant een bad hebben, gehakt uit één stuk marmer. Ontzettend zwaar, maar reuze onpraktisch, maar wel mooi. Coming up, the Maydell is forced to float for the first time to make way for a 92-meter monster. Big, massive uh, yachts being put on uh, in a dry dock. It's always a bit exciting.
This is Monaco, and it's day one of the world-famous yacht show. The most prestigious shipyards in the world gather here to exhibit their showpieces. That means the ships have to look their absolute best inside and out. Today, Jen is visiting the first ship the yacht ever completed. He still has regular contact with the captain. Morning, Jen. Hi, Welcome Mary. aboard. Good to see you. Stuff. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah really yeah. good. The Monaco Yacht Show is uh, the most important trade show uh, in the world for, for, for mega yachts. There are others, but there's none so imp as important as Monaco. Yeah, we had a really busy um, charter season. Um, you know, 38,000 miles, he's still going strong. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Good to hear. So we go try to make a route? Yeah, no problem here. Let's go check, out, check uh, it out. Like the Maydell, this ship was constructed according to the modular system. From the main deck up, it's custom built. Everything below is standardized. There, every space is organized around the beach club. From that area, there's a corridor straight to the, the guest cabins. Yeah, really yeah. good. Yeah. You know, yeah, the, the, the way you guys prepare the boat for, for, for the show and for the users. Yeah, they go through a fantastic job. Very good, very good. The ship is designed to enable everything you could possibly want to do during a vacation. And naturally, that includes work. Anybody actually done some work here? Not particularly, <laughs> you know. They're all really having a good time uh, generally on charter, but uh, of course uh, the owner um, uh, does his business up here. Yeah, very good, very good. The ship has a slide-out bridge wing. It can slide out half a meter. The broader view makes it easier to maneuver the 62-meter long vessel. The beach club fills the spot where normally the tenders are stored, so they are hidden on the foredeck. There's room for three tenders and four jet skis, which can all be put in the water within 18 minutes. Works fantastic. Um, even though it uh, says um, eight knots, we've been able to um, pick up the tenders in um, you know, over 50 knots of wind, yep. uh, no problem, yep. um, and uh, this thing's held up uh, really great. Well, let's have a look at our glass bridge. Because I, I'd like to show people about, uh, about the integrated technology, all, all the under glass buttons. So you have to make sure that, uh, that we, we can't break anything and uh, touch the wrong button. Uh, but there's uh, no chance of doing that, is it? No, it's all good. I mean, the only... Um, uh, one here is the horn. Sometimes uh, people lean on that one, but everything else is um, right. is good. So, it looks like the yacht is perfectly ready for the show. So, uh, let's fantastic! Thanks a lot. Let's go. Yeah. This super yacht is ready for some of Monaco's 28,000 visitors. Meanwhile, in the Netherlands, work on the Maidel's teak deck is nearing completion. All preparations are done in the workshop far away from the shipyard. First, the decks are measured digitally. After that, every slat is drawn and spread out on paper. Once the yard approves, workers can get to work and the slats can be sawn and split. Here comes the, uh, the puntenwolk, as we that noemen, comes here binnen. Wordt hier uitgelijnd. Er wordt een tekening gemaakt met alle items erop. Elk latje, elk hoekje, alles staat erop. Gaat naar de klant toe. De klant die keurt het. Eén of twee wijzigingen en dan moet het gewoon goed wezen. The Maydell's deck contains 440 square meters of teak, weighing no less than 5,000 kilos. It takes 10 people six months to finish all the heavy work. The client has insisted that they use a special white putty. Als de tekening door de klant is goedgekeurd, worden de onderdelen gemaakt en worden de panelen hier samengesteld. Dat is een samengestelde panelen worden geschuurd in onderdelen gemaakt en naar de werf vervoerd om vervolgens te worden geplakt. The Maydell is designed to be as energy efficient and green as possible, but the owner is uncompromising about the luxury features, like a steam room. It's up to young Mark Molina to reconcile these sometimes difficult demands. To build in a steam cabin for the owner, where you have to comply to different rules uh, within the yard, 
because you have to comply with fire uh, integrity plans and things like that. The solution was that the bathroom is located near the tender garage and we could uh, partially place part of the equipment in the tender garage. The construction of this yacht was worked out virtually before the build began. All hydrodynamic and technical drawings are processed at the shipyard using special 3D engineering software. Today we are talking about the engineering of the engine room and we are trying to fit big components into the engine room. Of course, space is always limited, but by, by building it more compact you know, as a unit, we can save quite some space. The main challenge for this yard is to get uh, as big units and components into the engine room, and we are transporting them uh, into the engine room through soft patches. The soft patch is a bolted hatch, and that is taken out temporarily and that can be placed back without welding after installation. Soft patches make it possible to install all large modules that are built outside of the ship. Here we are in the generator room. As you can see, uh, we've got three generators uh, placed. This was done last week. And through this hole in the wall, we have made an uh, access point so we can fit them in. This is the soft patch. This is the panel that is placed in the hole in the wall which is especially made so we can put bigger items in the ship. The teak deck for the new yacht is ready to be installed. Because of the extensive preparations at the workshop, this process only takes a few weeks. First, the floor is cleaned and made dustproof. Then the teak is installed and the seams are filled. Elk schip is uh, uniek natuurlijk. Uh, elk schip heeft uh, andere afmetingen, andere contouren. En er zit natuurlijk hier en daar wel eens een klein dingetje in waar het vakwerk nog naar boven kon drijven. Waar ze met een bijteltje de naden nog moeten opzuiveren om het kitwerk af te kunnen werken. Finally the deck is vacuum bagged. This method makes sure all air bubbles and other impurities are removed, leaving one solid and waterproof layer of epoxy resin. De vacuummethode is van de laatste jaren. Doordat je de lucht onder het plastic weghaalt, krijg je een druk van boven en een druk van onderen. Wij zitten ongeveer op 0,8% vacuüm. Dat wil zeggen dat je dus een druk hebt van 8 ton boven en onder. Het voordeel daarvan is dat je dus ook geen vervorming in je kasko krijgt in het dekken. At 4,500 square meters, Harlingen Dock has the capacity to build a second super yacht alongside the 62 meter long Maydell. But it's a complicated business. A 92 meter super yacht is waiting at the wharf for its refit. To move it into position, the entire shed will have to be filled with water, lifting the Maydell as well. The problem is, the Maydell has never been afloat. If you are depending on the, the column of water we have, um, the, the, the water level, is it high enough? Um, if the wind is coming from a certain direction, then we have more water or maybe we have less water. We only have a couple of centimeters left sometimes um, to get in. Ah, he's completely wrong. Mooi cloud. These, the hard and high is over there. Now it's heavy. You can't get in there. It's a bit too hard and work. Ja, we hadden net een probleem met de hijzo, die zat op een verkeerde okay. positie. We hebben hem net opnieuw ingepikt. Ja. Dus uh, ja, dat zag wel voor vertraging. Jongens, krijgen het wel voor elkaar? Ja. De 92-meter yacht will be moored at the dock. And this requires careful preparation. The dock's dividing door has to be removed, causing the Maydell to float for the first time. But when the water is pumped out of the shed afterwards, the ship has to end up at the exact same position. De alle interieur, bekabeling, leidingwerk, dat wordt uh, vanaf de referentielijn uh, ingemeten en gemaakt en geplaatst. En als je de referentielijn niet goed hebt, dan kom je straks nooit uit met de betimmering van de wangen, van, de, van het leidingwerk. Dan komt alles scheef erin. De voorbereiding is uh, nou, heel belangrijk, want als je weer uh, droog gaat, dan kun je exact zien met een laser dat de boot op de juiste hoogte weer terugkomt, uh, zoals hij ook erin gelegen heeft. Once the dock is dry again, 
the 92-meter yacht will be supported by nothing more than concrete cubes. Concrete blocks are quite important um, because they need to carry all the weight of the ship. That's 1,500 tons. Um, it will be carried by only 36 blocks, so you can uh, see how much weight uh, per block is uh, being calculated. Coming up, the team starts the midnight maneuverings. Will they get the 92-meter mega yacht into the shed unscathed? In the worst case, the ship could, uh, could fall over, but let's hope this will not happen. It's half past midnight in Harlinger, and a 92-meter yacht in need of an urgent refit is about to be maneuvered into the dry dock. If the craft isn't moved within half an hour, the team will miss high tide. Even if they do make it, there will only be about 37 centimeters of water beneath the colossal yacht, and there's a real danger it will tip over. It will take timing and absolute precision to maneuver the yacht into the right place undamaged. We're going to plan it in uh, in the middle of the night because we need the high tide um, of the water level and we have to make sure we have enough water under the keel to let it come in uh, on a safe trip. It's a special evening. It's always a big event bringing a big project inside uh, the shed. Uh, a lot of people uh, have to be active, uh, very uh, attentive to uh, the circumstances. It's an exciting uh, moment. It's, uh, it's not completely routine because you do it maybe three, four times uh, every year. The dock has been carefully flooded so that the inside of the shed now has the same water level as the outside. The Maydell, still covered in white plastic, holds up perfectly. But before the 92-meter yacht can join her, the massive door that seals the dock from the outer fairway has to be removed without overloading the crane. How goes it? Yeah, good. It wordt, uh, ja, nou, het schema niet helemaal. Uh, liggen, uh, het is wat krap tijd, we hebben nog een uur. En dan uh, moet het schip naar binnen, dus we gaan nu uh, snel uh, de deur eruit halen. Zodat uh, alles er klaar voor is en het schip binnen kan varen. Ja. Hoeveel centimeter hebben we over? Um, dat zal rond tussen de 37 en de 39 centimeter zijn uh, wat we onder het schip hebben. Okay. Dus uh, niet veel. The whole design of the crane is based on the weight of the door. So the big door needs to be lifted out very shortly now. And uh, that's also always a maximum, maximum load of the cranes as well. So it's always a bit, a bit exciting. Okay, bridge on deck. Okay, we're still on three lines down aft. Okay, you can single up and uh, drop the breast line anchor by four down aft. We're about ready for you. Start up the ship and uh, prepare everything uh, ready and come in front of the yard. So uh, we can move you in uh, in approximately uh, 45 minutes. As soon as the giant door is removed, the procedure can begin. Maneuvering the gigantic yacht is a nerve-wracking operation. If a vessel this size crashes or tips over, the damage could cost millions. We have to wait for the high tide to come in. We've got uh, two meters tide, tidal water. So uh, if we use the high water, we can have extra depth into the water, into the dock. 
Het is uh, bijna zover dat de boot eraan komt. We de eerste lijnen uitgooien vanaf de boot. Ieder uh, bij een kant staan, uh, de lijnen overnemen. Als die binnen is, ga jij Maarten volgens mij aan de gang met uh, de deur weer terugplaatsen. En dan gaan wij zorgen dat uh, de boot uh, stevig op zijn plek gaat komen. Het is exciting because it's a well, it's a 92 meter ship which comes in and in this case it's quite exciting because the draft is so much um, that we need high water to come inside and even with the high water we have only 37 centimeters uh, draft underneath the ship. Big massive uh, yachts being put on uh, in a dry dock and uh, yeah it's uh, it's a fantastic uh, event but it's always a bit exciting. Even when the ship is brought in. The low tide can still endanger the operation. Hij moet nog een meter of 10 naar achter, uh, Marie. Want gaat het boegbeeld eraf. Je hebt je al nog gebeld? Ja, al drie keer. We moeten nou wel opschieten, want uh, het water begint te zakken. We have to close the door because the tide is going down uh, right now. And we first have to position the ship before the, the water can go down. Because it has to be in an exact uh, right position. In the worst case, the ship could, uh, could fall over, but let's hope this will not happen. Ja, even kijken bij de deur. The yacht is in place, completely undamaged. Fijne avond. Pumping the water out of the shed can now begin. Even though a million liters per hour will be removed, it will take a full day before it's completely dry and work can commence. Away from the shed, construction is underway on the Maydells Beach Club. The crew are working on what will become the gym and the diving boards. We lopen hier naar de beach club van de yacht. Dit is bakboord, dit is stuurboord, daar is de boeg van het schip. En dit is de kont. De spiegelklep zit hier op een meter of vijf afstand van deze ruimtes. Dit wordt een dive store. Er komen bottle racks in, de kasten voor natte duikkleding, et cetera. En dit wordt hier dus helemaal vervloerd op plafond, maximaal voorbereid en opgebouwd om zo meteen ook in meubeldelen weer uit elkaar te kunnen en naar de spuiterij te gaan. Daar krijgt het de gewenste finish en daar vandaan gaat het naar de boot toe en wordt het weer opgebouwd zoals het hier later ook afgebroken zal worden. Zo'n jacht is volledig uh, customized. Dat wil zeggen dat alles wordt door de architect samen met de klant ontworpen. Het is allemaal maatwerk. Omdat het ook parallel naast de bouw van het casco loopt. Dat wij gebonden zijn aan hele uh, strakke maatgeving. En ja, feitelijk is alles wat je ziet is, is bedacht. Er is dus nergens een standaard systeem wat toegepast wordt. Alles wordt op maat gemaakt voor deze klant. The material for the decoration is far from standard as well. A variety of wood is selected for the ship's interior. Ebony, Italian walnut and mahogany. When every inch is correctly positioned, the panels will be spray painted. Ja, dit is een hele unieke uh, tak voor sport. Uh, hier krijg je echt nog de tijd om uh, dingen echt uh, helemaal af te maken. Once the undercoat is painted on, no fewer than 28 layers of varnish are applied. Hier gelden de wetten van perfectie. Het moet allemaal gewoon 100% goed zijn. Um, uh, ja, minder dan 100% daar neemt maar geen genoeg op mee. Dus dat is wel uh, heel erg uniek aan deze uh, uh, interieurbouw. With just two more months before the Maydell's first sea trial, the shipyard's radical building approach ensures it meets the deadline. Whereas traditional shipbuilders all work on board the vessel. Here, they use subcontractors to assemble many parts away from the ship. In our concept, we try to have as many people working next to the boat instead of on board. Because the boat is a rather small place to, uh, to be working. Uh, so we prefer to have maybe maximum 100 people working on, uh, on the project. And it will take about two years time. That's fast for such a large yacht. The only problem is, with massive parts like the engines constructed off ship, it takes careful planning to move them on board. To finish the complete engine room takes about one year. It's uh, from start building in the piping until the trial trip. 
the special features of this engine room is that a lot of parts are built as complete units in our workshop, like intercool unit and wheels unit. This is a medium-sized engine room. In this engine room, there is enough space to walk around freely and uh, to stand upright, and all items are reasonable, accessible. The two engines run at 2,500 horsepower each, allowing the giant vessel a maximum speed of 16 knots. But size and speed alone don't make a super yacht. It's all in the details. A simple stroke with a paintbrush just won't do. Now, here you see all the new afgelakte delen. These delen are 28 keer gelakt. So you have a doorlap time from one such panel for preparation of 8 to 9 weeks, sometimes a little longer, depending on the dry time. Well, here they began somewhere in November of this year. It's only only by the montage. You see also that they have to be very careful when they use the hand screws. So, yeah, fat hands are definitely funest for the lack of these hand screws. This leer comes from Italy. It is imported. It is also selected there by the developer. Die geeft aan welke kleur hij wil, wat voor een structuur hij wil. Op een gegeven moment gaan ze de details bekijken van de stikselnaden, wat voor kleuren draad moet zijn, hoe moet de afstand zijn. Dan gaan ze sampletjes maken en die waren op dat moment goed gekeurd. En op, aan de hand van die samples hebben ze nu de hele productie uh, opgezet. En het uh, tik was geplaatst en we hadden een heel klein verschilletje van een millimeter ten opzichte van de panelen van elkaar. En uh, hebben we besloten alles weer uit te halen, opnieuw aan te brengen. Want uiteindelijk moet het perfect zijn. En at last, after 30 months of hard work, the Maydell is due to leave the shed. It's an eagerly anticipated moment, but also a crucial milestone in the yacht's journey to completion. Will it make the grade? In the coming days, the sea trials will reveal whether there are any problems. It's what we worked for all these years and all these months with all these people and this is the first test to see what we've done. Well it feels like a great moment. Uh, you have to imagine she was always indoor in a tent with a foil around it and uh, yeah it's a feeling of pride. Our dockings are uh, very strongly connected with the tidal uh, influences we have here uh, in Harlingen. Uh, we are here directly at the open sea, so we have about two and a half meters of difference between the high tide and the low tide. We cannot, let's say, dock at low tide. And if we dock at high tide, we should have it finished in time before the, the tide is uh, running away. These are exciting times for the entire team. Together they've put no less than 259,000 man hours into the super yacht. Yeah, we, everybody worked hard to, to come this far, and uh, now this is the result of what we've done uh, uh, over the past few months and years. It's a proud feeling to be uh, achieving uh, this moment. The shed doors open. It's make or break for the Maydell. At 62 meters long, a beam of 11 and a half meters, and a weight of 1,226 tons, she is towed out of her hiding place. I got her. Saturday, 14th of April, memorable day. Finally, she's out, and uh, now we have to uh, put her outside the shed on the side here. Tomorrow, uh, we will perform an incline test. So uh, stability will be checked. Um, this needs to be done before the first sea trials. Coming up, the Maydell's controls malfunction in the middle of her first sea trial. Yes, it was very hot in the engine room. The Maydell gaat in deze position nu gelijk een crash stop uitoefenen. Okay, three, two, one, go.
The Maydell's Bridge is the yacht's beating heart. The navigation, communication and entertainment system are all operated by one control panel. Everything has already been completed in the workshop. All that remains before the sea trial is to complete installation of the bridge equipment module on board the yacht. Uh, the main advantage for the captain with a system like this is that he can instinctively find all functions across the panel. It's always a different box, it's always a different thing when it's a normal bridge layout, but with this everything is clearly labelled, everything is clearly seen, which function to operate or which function is active. All these systems are computer driven, so it's a big communication box which connects to all the data across the ship, so we can control ventilation, read out uh, fuel levels, see fire indicators, run engine generator thrusters, completely steer and sail the ship from this position with only the panels and a piece of software that will run on some computer screens. That's the theory, but will the controls work out on the water? The team is about to find out as the Maydell has its first trial at sea. Every aspect of the super yacht's performance will be rigorously assessed. The entire team's work is on the line. I'm ready for the sea trial. And they are as well. It's a highly anticipated moment. Everyone involved with the build is here to see the yacht perform and to monitor the parts they're responsible for. It's a nice feeling that uh, finally uh, you can uh, sail with, uh, with the vessel. A nice way to see if everything is working, what you have uh, worked so hard on. But it's not the best of starts. There's a problem with the bridge panel that controls the entire yacht. Uh, there seems to be something wrong with the uh, boat thruster uh, control. Rather a normal thing, before you leave you check, uh, certainly at the first sea trial, boat thruster, rudders, uh, propeller control. And automatically well, that's well. So now somebody's working on it to solve it, and then uh, quickly we will uh, be able uh, to leave. Welcome everybody to uh, the sea trial. Maybe uh, when uh, systems will not work, we will uh, go on to the next uh, level. That means the fire alarm. And the procedure is the same, everybody will muster here. And then, of course, we have to come in action. After a two hour delay, the ship is finally ready to launch. Finally, all the work has been paid off. Looking forward to the next couple of hours to see uh, how she's performing. One of the best days in the yacht building and everything comes together and uh, finally uh, you're able to test everything and everything working like it's supposed to be. But work on a super yacht doesn't stop when the build is finished. Keeping regular contact with owners and crew of the ships is just as important as the construction itself. Jen's on a maintenance call in Cannes. The cooling system on a yacht needs attention. It was a good opportunity to meet up back with the captain. See, uh, we can learn something from, uh, from his experiences and uh, discuss with the chief engineer uh, a couple of improvements that we're, uh, that we're developing. And um, so basically that's it. Following feedback from the captain, Jen takes a look in the engine room. There have been some problems with the cooling system, partly triggered by tropical destinations. I hear there are some problems with the ventilation and the temperature in the engine room. Yes, uh, we, we did have some uh, challenges uh, in, in the Caribbean. When we are in the Caribbean, we are dealing with uh, seawater temperature of 28, 30. Yeah. And since the modification on the, on the mesh system, when the, uh, cooling, the cooling water factor was obsolete, yeah. replaced by some air, 
then uh, yeah, we have quite high okay. temperatures, in, uh, especially in the generator room in, uh, in the Caribbean, that's correct. Okay. The generators are really in a small space and there is uh, not sufficient uh, flow of air uh, through the space itself. Well, the, the thing that we made is, uh, is a better air distribution with, uh, with some ducting to get the cool air at the spot where we want it and where we need it. And uh, now we're discussing uh, if, we can, if we can make these uh, implementations uh, directly on this boat as well. These trips uh, to, to come on board to speak with the people that, uh, that work uh, with, the, with the yachts are very important for, uh, for the whole uh, company. It's for me, but also for the, the technical staff and the, the suppliers. They need to know, uh, need to have the feedback from the, from the people that use the yachts. Jen gathers all the information and next week, the mechanics will travel to Imperia in Italy's Ligurian region where the ship is heading to update the system. The Maydell has her own variety of cooling systems on board. These aren't just for comfort, they're vital to the safe functioning of the ship. The engine room's cooling system is particularly silent. Jan Rijkaard coordinated the installation. But it has to be adjusted, because it doesn't work like that. Okay. The pipes have to be close to each other and there has to be The special request was uh, a whispering air conditioning, uh, engine room cooling and engine room ventilation. The engine room cooling and ventilation is very special because it, we have a very limited space and the engine room is divided in two parts. Therefore, we had basically two cooling systems in one engine room. Air currents are checked using a smoke machine. Conventional ventilation systems are with a lot of air in and a lot of air out. Each cooler is capable of doing 220 kW of cooling capacity. The coolers are fitted with fresh water made by an uh, exchanging unit. The fresh water cools a big radiator in these coolers and the three massive supply fans take care of the circulation of the air. The sea trial starts with an endurance test. The Maydell travels at 60 knots for two straight hours. This is full speed, putting a huge amount of pressure on the engine cooling systems. It's important to test the craft to the limit before it's delivered to the owner. This sea trial is performed as a preparation for the, the, the final sea trial. So we know for sure that the next time, when we do it officially for the certification and the approval by the flag authorities, and the owner, that everything works perfectly. But the yacht is not quite ready. There's a fault in the engine room. Dag, de Madelle gaat in deze positie nu gelijk het crash top uh, uitoefenen. Madelle, de begrijpen. Ja, dat is correct. Oké. Okay. Twee, één, go. While the team performs tests on the bridge, the engine room is heating up. The team is forced to bring the endurance test to a premature close. We have to make adjustments to the cooling water system to adjust the flows and test it on the next trial trip. Yes, it was very hot in the engine room. We're probably going to solve this by uh, engineering a new air cycle throughout the generator room, um, uh, also together with the co-maker, to provide a lower temperature there. <laughs> Okay. The problems in the engine room don't mean the entire sea trial is over. All of today's findings will be recorded and the testing continues. Starting with the anchor mechanism. Technical standards apply to every aspect on board, so even the decibel levels are thoroughly checked and registered. After six hours of sailing, the team returns to Harlingen Harbour. The Maydell has seen open water for the very first time. It wasn't plain sailing, 
but they now have all the data required to perfect this vessel. We found out a couple of things, nothing dramatic, and now it's for the interior guys to, to round up their work, to do the final fittings and uh, make the boat ready for delivery. So now we can sleep well because we know all the systems are working well. Although you always have some problems uh, you have to, uh, to overcome, but uh, no major problems or defects were, uh, were shown. So uh, we're quite happy with it. Very proud of the results, and uh, yet again we learned some things how to uh, create a better ship even next time. But next time we'll have to wait. For now it's back to the shed to start work on the final details of this craft. And soon the Maydell will be taking her place as a super yacht at the modern home of Dutch shipbuilding tradition. There's a problem with the seals that close the lid from the water, causing an expensive delay. Well, the problem is um, one of the seals, uh, the dimensions of the seals is not good. The guys already um, made some phone calls and arranged some new seals to be made. They will be delivered a little bit late, but, well, no problem for the process of uh, building of the boat. And we can make some tests already now. This has not been the only challenge. The client insisted on using an incredibly heavy construction material. Over 7,000 kilograms of Italian marble have to be kept afloat. And from massive slabs to wafer-thin panels, every piece of marble is carefully selected and cut. The weight of the marble is absolutely a problem on board of this sort of yacht. And there have we an oplossing for bedacht. What we do is the use of honeycomb materials, the honingraad panels, aluminium. And there we line the whole thin layers of marble above. Waardoor de eigenlijk het totaalgewicht van een paneel veel lager wordt als een volledig paneel van marmer. We hebben een jacht gehad, daar wilde de klant een bad hebben, gehakt uit één stuk marmer. Ontzettend zwaar, reuze onpraktisch, maar wel mooi. Coming up, the Maydell is forced to float for the first time to make way for a 92 meter monster. Big, massive uh, yachts being put on uh, in a dry dock. It's always a bit exciting. This is Monaco, and it's day one of the world-famous yacht show. The most prestigious shipyards in the world gather here to exhibit their showpieces. That means the ships have to look their absolute best inside and out. Today, Jen is visiting the first ship the yacht ever completed. He still has regular contact with the captain. Morning, Jen. Hi, Welcome man. aboard. The client has insisted that they use a special white putty. As the tekening door the client is goedgekeurd, worden the onderdelen gemaakt and worden the panelen hier samengesteld. Dat is een samengestelde panelen worden geschuurd, in onderdelen gemaakt en naar de werf vervoerd om vervolgens te worden geplakt. The 
Maydell is designed to be as energy efficient and green as possible, but the owner is uncompromising about the luxury features, like a steam room. It's up to young Mark Molina to reconcile these sometimes difficult demands. To build in a steam cabin for the owner, where you have to comply to different rules uh, within the yard, because you have to comply with fire uh, integrity plans and things like that. The solution was that the bathroom is located near the tender garage and we could uh, partially place part of the equipment in the tender garage. The construction of this yacht was worked out virtually before the build began. All hydrodynamic and technical drawings are processed at the shipyard using special 3D engineering software. Today we are talking about the engineering of the engine room and we are trying to fit big components into the engine room. Of course, space is always limited, but by, by building it more compact you know, as a unit, we can save quite some space. The main challenge for this yard is to get uh, as big units and components into the engine room, and we are transporting them uh, into the engine room through soft patches. The soft patch is a bolted hatch, and that is taken out temporarily and that can be placed back without welding after installation. Soft patches make it possible to install all large modules that are built outside of the ship. Here we are in the generator room. As you can see, uh, we've got three generators uh, placed. This was done last week. And through this hole in the wall, we have made an uh, access point so we can fit them in. This is the soft patch. This is the panel that is placed in the hole in the wall which is especially made so we can put bigger items in the ship. The teak deck for the new yacht is ready to be installed. Because of the extensive preparations at the workshop, this process only takes a few weeks. First, the floor is cleaned and made dustproof. Then the teak is installed and the seams are filled. Alex schip is uh, unique, natuurlijk. Uh, Alex schip has uh, andere afmetingen, andere contouren. En er zit natuurlijk hier en daar wel eens een klein dingetje in waar het, het vakwerk nog uh, naar boven komt drijven. Waar ze met een bijteltje de naden nog moeten opzuiveren om uh, het kitwerk af te kunnen werken. Finally, the deck is vacuum bagged. This method makes sure all air bubbles and other impurities are removed, leaving one solid and waterproof layer of epoxy resin. De vacuümmethode is van de laatste jaren. Doordat je de lucht onder het plastic weghaalt, krijg je een druk van boven en een druk van onderen. Wij zitten ongeveer op 0,8% vacuüm. Dat wil zeggen dat je dus een druk hebt van 8 ton boven en onder. Het voordeel daarvan is dat. Goed te zien. Fantastisch, ja, heel goed. De Monaco Yacht Show is de meest belangrijke trade show in de wereld. For, you, for, for mega yachts. There are others, but there's none so imp as important as Monaco. Yeah, we had a really busy um, charter season. Um, you know, 38,000 miles, you're still going strong. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Good to hear. So we go try to make a route? Yeah, no problem here. Let's go check, and out, check uh, it out. Like the Maydell, this ship was constructed according to the modular system. From the main deck up, it's custom built. Everything below is standardized. There, every space is organized around the beach club. From that area, there's a corridor straight to the, the guest cabins. Very special. Yeah, really yeah. good. Yeah. You know, yeah, the, the, the way you guys prepare the boat for, for, for the show and for the users. Yeah, they go through a fantastic job. Very good, very good. The ship is designed to enable everything you could possibly want to do during a vacation. And naturally, that includes work. Anybody actually done some work here? Not particularly, you know, they're all like having a good time uh, generally on charter, but uh, of course uh, the owner um, uh, does his business up here. Yeah, very good, very good. The ship has a slide out bridge wing. It can slide out half a meter. The broader view makes it easier to maneuver the 62 meter long vessel. The beach club fills the spot where normally the tenders are stored, so they are hidden on the foredeck. There's room for three tenders and four jet skis, which can all be put in the water within 18 minutes. Works fantastic. Um, even though it uh, says um, eight knots, we've been able to um, pick up the tenders in, um, you know, over 50 knots of wind. Yep. Uh, no problem. Um, and uh, this thing's held up uh, really great. Well, let's have a look at our glass bridge. Because I, I'd like to show people about uh, 
about the integrated technology or all the on the glass buttons. So you have to make sure that, uh, that we, we can't break anything and uh, touch the wrong button. Uh, but there's uh, no chance in doing that. Is no, it's all good. I mean, the only um, uh, one here is the horn. Sometimes uh, people lean on that one, but everything else is, um, right. is good. So it looks like the yacht is perfectly ready for the show. So uh, that's fantastic. Been... Thanks a lot. Let's go. Yeah. This super yacht is ready for some of Monaco's 28,000 visitors. Meanwhile in the Netherlands, work on the Maydell's teak deck is nearing completion. All preparations are done in the workshop far away from the shipyard. First, the decks are measured digitally. After that, every slat is drawn and spread out on paper. Once the yard approves, workers can get to work and the slats can be sawn and split. Hier komt het, uh, de puntenwolk, zoals wij dat noemen, komt hier binnen. Wordt hier uitgelijnd. Er wordt een tekening gemaakt met alle items erop. Elk latje, elk hoekje, alles staat erop. Gaat naar de klant toe. De klant die keurt het. Eén of twee wijzigingen en dan moet het gewoon goed wezen. De Maydell's deck contains 440 square meters of teak, weighing no less than 5000 kilo's. It takes 10 people six months to finish all the heavy work. Or as you can see, is a, what we call a computer floor. This is already prepared in the factory from the carpenters. And based on this floor, they make their prefabrication of the walls, uh, ceilings and everything. If that's ready, then the owner can have a check and have a look if that's what he wants. If so, they can break it apart. Um, wrap it up, bring it to the yard, and build it up in the ship. Eventually, the Maydell will have a luxury interior designed to meet the client's exacting demands. Well, um, on this side, we have uh, a space that's called the dive store specially prepared for the owner because diving is uh, one of his big hobbies. This will be completely uh, built as a dive store, including compressed air uh, generators, oxygen tanks um, and dive equipment. And on the other side, we have the gym. This will be completely installed as a gym for the owner and his family, um, so they can have some exercise. Well, here we are on the foredeck, as you can see. Um, these are the tender garages. At this moment, we are preparing these spaces to put um, the man overboard boat in. Jet skis, power boats, water ski boats. Um, yeah, basically, all super yachts uh, use these kind of toys. That's what makes life interesting. And life is never dull when it's your job to put the super in super yacht. Hi. 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 En het moet niet te schreeuwig zijn. Het uh, moet absoluut de rijkdom van de materialen uitstralen en warmte geven. En absoluut, zoals ik zeg, niet te schreeuwig. The Maydale's very own beach club forms a key part of the yacht's basic design. Located directly below the main deck, it provides a link from the swimming platform to the guest houses. The beach club is a unique feature because of the, the, the dimensions and the, the, the living area it creates, together with uh, the door that can be opened, which creates an, an, a nice environment for the people living on board to uh, enjoy themselves. The lid of the beach club is four meters by nine. It can be opened and closed in just one minute and is due to be installed today. We oh, have here a... We moeten hier nog 10 of 15 streep naar beneden. 10 of 15. 
the beach club's lid weighs in at a hefty 2,500 kilos, and the crane has to place it in precisely the right spot. Unfortunately, that is proving impossible. For centuries, the Netherlands has been famous for its shipbuilding tradition. In the past, these boats were used to trade goods and discover exotic lands. Today, the industry is all about leisure, demanding a different approach from the shipyards. Revolutionary new technology and construction methods herald a new era for super yacht builders, allowing them to take these magnificent vessels to higher levels. This is Super Yachts. a small town in the northern region of the Netherlands. In the past, its proximity to the North Sea helped make it one of the country's most important ports for merchant shipping. Today, it's mainly known for its super yacht construction. One of the shipyards here specializes in modular construction, an innovative building process where the technical, electronic, and interior modules are built away from the ship in specialized workshops. Well, the modular building concept is uh, very much focused on doing as much uh, work as we can outside of the yacht to, uh, to gain efficiency and to gain the quality. Doing the work in a separate workshop is improving the quality. The fewer people we have on board, the faster we can build. Only the upper part of the ship is custom built. Everything below the main deck is standardized which enables the fabricating of the modules to be started simultaneously with the production of the hull and superstructure. This results in shorter construction periods. Once the hull is completed, the prefab modules are assembled on board. It can be hundreds of people uh, working here uh, simultaneously, and it will take about two years' time. The shipyard's latest showpiece is the Maydell, 62 meters long and 11 meters wide and built completely according to the modular construction principles. But however efficient the method, certain factors are difficult to control. When temperatures drop below 13 degrees Celsius, paint can't be applied to the ship, slowing down the entire process. Well, as you can see, the boat is completely covered up in plastic. That's due to temperature control and humid control. Um, it's very important for the painting process. When the temperature is too, too low, we're not allowed to, uh, to put paint on the ship. The average amount of time it takes to build a ship this way is two and a half years from start to finish. The Maydell has been under construction for 22 months now. It will take another eight months before this super yacht will be ready for her first sea trial. In shipbuilding terms, eight months is a short time period, so everyone will have to race against the clock. They work non-stop. They work, well, sometimes 24 hours, depending on the, the client's requirements. Well, here we are in the main lounge. On the 